Independent candidate for Flynn, Craig Thompson, has launched a scathing attack on the state government over a pedestrian crossing at Gracemere that was removed four years ago. Pressure is mounting to have it reinstalled, with parents claiming children's lives are at risk. Patience is everything on this busy road. There was a little old lady who was trying to cross the road to get to the shops and was stuck in the middle of the road for 20 minutes because the traffic wouldn't stop. The battle of the bitumen on Laurie Street has reached boiling point. But a pedestrian crossing, it's kind of quite ridiculous that it's not there. Residents want their crossing back. Parents fear a child will be hit by a car. There'll be an accident, of course, yeah. And the kids are, like, you know, the trucks are going through there as well, yeah. It's just an accident waiting to happen, really. It's very simple. The crossing, for all intensive purposes, is already there. They just need to repaint the lines on the road and put the signs back up. Ironically, the crossing was removed in 2009 after being deemed too dangerous. Candidate for Flynn, Craig Thompson, says he's been trying to contact Transport Minister Scott Emerson for several days. No one has bothered to even ring me back or confirm that they've even received a notation on this. Now, that's not good enough. A spokesperson for the minister has told Seven Local News there are no plans or funding available to change the decision and says pedestrian refuges are a safe method of catering for pedestrians. I think if the crossing was back there, it'd be safer for them. If a life is lost, then that is on the hands of all of those representatives who sat down and did nothing. Stephanie Jeans, Seven News.